Number nine, Alicia Treat and Brian Devere. Two porch pirates were arrested after stealing several packages from a home in Bothell, Washington in January of 2018. A female suspect identified as Alicia Treat, aged 37, slipped and injured her ankle during the pier's awkward getaway, which was recorded by the homeowner's security camera. The male accomplice, 39-year-old Brian Devere, could be seen carrying the injured Treat to their vehicle before returning to grab the three packages from the porch. The video recording of Treat's mishap was uploaded to Facebook by the victimized homeowner. The post went viral, garnering more than 650,000 views, with many commenters deeming the woman's fall as karmic justice at work. Treat and Devere were later tracked down by investigators and arrested at a motel in Everett. The injured woman, who attended her court hearing in a wheelchair, ultimately pleaded guilty to the thefts and was sentenced to nearly two months in jail. She was also ordered to pay restitution to the victims, whose stolen packages were reportedly worth more than $5,000 and contained special medication that wouldn't be replaced by insurance. Treat, a mother of three, was allegedly homeless and on disability at the time of the incident. Devere had previously faced criminal charges for identity theft, auto theft, and burglary. Number eight the Stockton Amazon Bandit. On April the 17th of 2018, an unnamed woman was caught stealing an Amazon package from a front porch in Stockton, California. She was subsequently followed and taunted by a witness as she attempted to flee on a bicycle. The thief had brazenly poached a massive cardboard package from a person's porch and then balanced it on her bike's handlebars as she rode away from the scene. A passerby identified as Mark Dunas witnessed the burglary while driving through the neighborhood and proceeded to follow the suspect in his car. Dunas began to hurl verbal barbs at the woman that culminated with threats of involving the police if she didn't return the box to its rightful owner. The thief then hopped off her bicycle and approached the Good Samaritan's car. She shouted an expletive-laden retort at the man before abandoning the package on the side of the road and leaving empty-handed. The entire exchange was recorded on Dunas' cell phone and was widely shared on social media in the incident's aftermath. Number 7. Marvin Marshall A would-be porch pirate was caught in the act of trying to steal a package from a house in Monk's Corner, South Carolina on January the 17th of 2020. He was consequently held at gunpoint by the homeowner until the arrival of local sheriff's deputies. At the time, Marvin Marshall was reportedly driving around the neighborhood near War Admiral Lane looking for work. He later told the police that he'd been searching for lawns to mow when his car suddenly broke down. Marshall exited his vehicle, approached the victim's house and knocked on the front door. When there was no answer, the suspect grabbed a package that was sitting on the ground near the door and began to walk back to his car. The homeowner then came outside and pointed a firearm at the thief, demanding he return the stolen parcel. Marshall complied with the armed man's instructions and remained at gunpoint until police officers arrived at the scene and took him into custody, after which he was charged with petty larceny. Number 6. The Failed Getaway in Mississauga a man was arrested for stealing a package from the porch of a resident of Ontario, Canada in January of 2021. He was caught by members of law enforcement after his getaway vehicle got stuck in a snowbank during his attempted escape. At approximately 2.40 p.m. on January the 4th, the unidentified 33-year-old suspect approached a house near Churchill Meadows and Erin Center Boulevard in the city of Mississauga. He proceeded to pick up a package that had been left outside the home's front door. As he attempted to make off with the stolen item, the homeowner emerged from the residence and started berating the man for his theft. The suspect then fled back to his vehicle and started to back out of the driveway, but his efforts to escape were derailed by a pile of snow on which his car got stuck. The entire incident was captured by the homeowner on his cell phone. Adding to the situation's hilarity was him actually trying to help the porch pirate from a distance by explaining that the car was front-wheel drive and that he needed to get the wheels which were spinning in the air on the ground. Unable to drive away, the thief remained inside of his vehicle until the arrival of the police, at which point he was taken into custody. The video recording went viral after being uploaded to Reddit. The pirate who was reportedly 
a resident of Brampton, was ultimately charged with one count of fraud under $5,000 and one count of theft under $5,000. Number 5. The Glendale Pirate A Glendale woman shamed a porch pirate into returning the package he'd stolen after witnessing the theft from her front yard on December the 18th of 2019. According to reports from local media, Shannon Brandon was eating breakfast with her son, Derek, in front of their home when they observed a pair of men as they exited a parked vehicle and walked towards two separate houses. Brandon's son noticed that one of the men had taken a package from someone's front porch and told his mother about it. She then ran after the suspect and yelled at him to put the stolen item back. The thief complied with the incensed woman's commands and the two would-be porch pirates subsequently returned to their car and left the neighborhood. Brandon later told a local news station that she felt compelled to confront the burglars because with the winter holidays approaching, the package could have contained someone's Christmas presents. Her neighbors revealed that there were only two pillows inside the box that she'd successfully prevented from being stolen. Number 4. Kelly Russell a Dallas thief was caught by surveillance cameras stealing $5,000 worth of packages from her neighbor's front porches. The woman was identified as 33-year-old Kelly Russell, a self-described model and bartender who'd been accused of pilfering parcels from other residents of the apartment complex where she lived. On January 11th of 2018, Russell was arrested in Oak Cliff in connection to unrelated traffic offenses, which included driving without a license. She was released from custody the following day, but surrendered herself to the authorities less than a week later and confessed to being the suspected porch pirate. Her thefts had been captured on video with multiple clips circulating online in the weeks leading up to her arrest. The authorities conducted a search of Russell's apartment and found stolen packages in such a large number that they needed two police cruisers to transport them in their entirety. Russell faced felony theft charges that carried a maximum sentence of up to two years in prison and a fine of up to $10,000. After entering a guilty plea, the porch pirate ultimately received two years of deferred adjudication probation. Number 3. The Edmonton Sting Operation A woman was placed under arrest by undercover police officers mere seconds after stealing a package from a front porch in Edmonton, Canada. The entire incident, which took place on February the 21st of 2020, was captured by a doorbell security camera. The unidentified female suspect went to the front door of a residence in the capital city of the Alberta province. She wore a mask, a baseball cap, and carried a backpack. After grabbing a brown package that had been placed on the front stoop, the woman began to calmly walk away with the stolen item in hand. Before she'd even reached the end of the street, however, Two unmarked police trucks pulled up on either side of her and she was quickly surrounded by plainclothes officers. The thief was ordered to drop to her knees as a third police vehicle arrived at the scene. The dramatic arrest was reportedly part of a sting operation conducted by Edmonton police in an effort to crack down on porch pirates in the area. Today's topic was requested by To The Victor Bro. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Ryan Polair In July of 2019, a Las Vegas man was remanded into police custody after carrying out a porch pirate theft in the Northwest Valley. The suspect, 21-year-old Ryan Polair, reportedly stole a package containing more than $4,000 worth of surveillance equipment from a victim's doorstep. In a rather ironic turn of events, the man was ultimately identified with the help of footage taken from surveillance cameras that had captured the entire incident. While he committed the theft, Polair wore an Oakland Raiders baseball cap and a black mask that concealed his face. Detectives from the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department were able to positively identify him due to the distinctive tattoos on his neck and legs. After receiving Two petty larceny calls on the day of the theft, local authorities were able to rapidly track down Polair and place him under arrest. In November of 2021, there were reports that a Las Vegas resident named Ryan Polair was murdered during an altercation with his ex-girlfriend's husband, Michael Daniels, aged 32. 
Volaire allegedly crashed into a wall after his motorcycle was intentionally struck by Daniels' pickup truck. The deceased had reportedly been involved in a battery domestic violence incident with Daniels' wife the day before the fatal crash. Number 1. Cortez Brown In October of 2019, the victim of an assault and robbery was arrested after being identified as a suspect in a series of porch pirate thefts. Cortez Brown worked as a delivery driver at a pizza hut near Atlanta, Georgia. Brown allegedly used his pizza delivery bag to steal packages from various houses in the residential district of Buckhead and had reportedly been caught on multiple home security cameras carrying out the thefts. On the night of October the 5th, Brown was sent to an address in northwest Atlanta to deliver a pizza. When he arrived at the home, however, the delivery driver was ambushed by two armed men. One suspect struck Brown in the head with a handgun, while the other took the $200 in cash that was in his wallet. The two robbers fled the scene, even taking the box of pizza with them. Brown contacted the authorities and was able to receive medical treatment for his wounds. While recording Brown's official statement about the assault, an Atlanta police officer recognized the man's blue PT Cruiser as the same vehicle that had been used by the Buckhead porch pirate. Brown was subsequently taken into police custody and charged in connection to the string of thefts. Thanks for watching. Would you rather have a package containing important medicine stolen from your porch or lose your credit card on a crowded subway? Let us know in the comments section below.